Hi, I'm Mike with Advanced Nutrients, and today we're going to be talking about uh, different kind of materials that you can put on your wall for reflectability and the lighting, different kind of bulbs and the different kind of shades that are in the marketplace. But first we're going to start with the different kind of material that you can put on the wall. Now there's many different kinds of materials that you can put on the wall. Some are good and some are bad. Uh, here we've chosen 6 mil uh, white poly. Basically it has a reflectability of about 85%. But dollar for dollar, it's the, the, probably the best value. Now I'll go through the different types of materials that you can use, from probably from the best material uh, to the uh, least reflective. I guess that's probably the best way to take it. The best material that you can get in the marketplace is a product called Foilon. Now Foilon reflects about 97% of the light. It's also extremely expensive. Uh, if I was going uh, to use Foilon, I would just, it's about 54 inches wide, I would use it just in the actual uh, area of uh, what I call the growing zone, the uh, area that's going to get the reflectability to uh, the actual uh, area where the plant is growing. And then I would uh, use the, uh, the poly to cover it. Uh, your next best thing would probably be a product called Aluminex. There's all kinds of different products under different names, but basically it's an aluminum based product. That will probably give you about 85 to 90 percent reflectability. It's not as expensive as Foilon, and it's a good product. Now, a lot of people like to use Mylar. Mylar is this product right here. I personally don't, don't like to use Mylar for a couple of reasons. One, it's hard to apply. Second, this coating that's on the back comes off very easy over time. And, and then eventually what you have, you have these, these spots all around after about a year or so uh, doing this. Plus, this gives very poor light diffusion. It has a lot of hot spots. People say, oh, well, it's just like a mirror. Well, I'll tell you, mirror is probably the worst thing you could absolutely put on your wall. One, poor diffusion, uh, has a lot of hot spots, but it gives very... Uh, poor reflectability. And the reason being is you got a thick piece of glass there that the, the light has to go through and you've got a silver or black backing on the mirror which actually absorbs light, doesn't reflect it. Uh, so Mylar basically is not the best product that, uh, that, that you can use. I would say absolutely use, uh, if you can stay away from it. What is good is the white plastic. Also, if you don't want to put white plastic and you want to paint your walls, flat white paint is the best. Not semi-gloss, not gloss. When you start getting into the semi-glosses and the glosses, the varnishes that they have in there apt, uh, interfere with the reflectability uh, a lot. Uh, flat white and then your, your, your semi-gloss would be uh, the least reflective of that and then the most uh, the one that has the least reflectability would be your glosses or satin finishes. So use a flat white paint. Now, when you're in the painting store, ask the guy there to put some more titanium oxide in there. Titanium oxide is what makes white white. Okay, you can also have them put in a, a fungus inhibitor because of the moisture that's in these rooms, you'll want to put that in. See if your, your guy has that, uh, your local paint store has it and it's, and it's available. Now some people say, oh, I'm going to put aluminum foil on my wall. Oh, that's, that's the same problem. Really just horrible reflectability, doesn't diffuse the light properly. And once again, some people say, well, I'll use crushed aluminum foil to, to diffuse light. No, those are just 